just take down the water bucket, the hose, and come out front. <laughs> then I just pick up the chicken wire that's in the front. Drag it ahead with the length of the chicken tractor itself or until we're on a good spot of grass. That's funny, all the chickens stay in one group when they're moving. And then you can see they're all excited to be on fresh grass. They're going ahead and they're eating the flowers. The good grass that they like at first. And then I just go ahead and I lie down the chicken wire. I have these grapes that are out of an old freezer. So if I have any, so our area that we're dragging the chickens around is not level. So if I have any low spots, I just put this down to keep the predators out from being able to dig in and get under it. I don't know how well you can see it, but the flattened down spot where the dog is, is where they were. I'll go ahead and I'll show you the progression of them. Here, here's kind of a better view. Right here, the chicken tractor just ran. Give it a week. That's going to be higher than the grass here and here. It's going to be darker green, like the patch I showed you over here earlier. So it's definitely one reason to do the chicken tractor. It helps fertilize your pasture and make it grow thicker and greener. But you also get high quality meat birds and very nutritious eggs. So over here you can see the grass is growing a little bit better. Right here is where the tractor was. It's almost caught up with the grass on the other side. And the pasture has not been mowed or anything this year. So what you're seeing here, right there, is the only thing that has been mowed by the chicken tractor, by the chickens eating it. And it's already starting to catch up. So over here, you can see the dark green. It's getting dark green right here. That big tall piece of grass right there, the chickens already ate that. And it's already taller than the other grass that had not been mowed or had not been disturbed by the chicken. Now you've seen it's getting really green up here, the grass, from the chicken poop. Now you're getting a lot more, a lot darker. Keep you guys updated. This is what I really wanted to show you. So, right here is all dark green, and over here is a light green. The grass is the same height. The chicken tractor came down this stretch. I have not mowed either side. The only area that got mowed was what was eaten by the chickens, and that's already the same height as the areas that didn't have the chickens. And look how much darker the grass is from the nitrogen in the chicken poop. So over time, just imagine what that's gonna do to the whole field. So I'll keep you guys updated on how the pasture's coming and how the chickens are doing. So we're pretty excited here with how well it's turning out. This pasture here has been neglected for probably at least five years, if not longer. So, just bringing you along, document some of the process here of how the chickens are gonna help us revitalize the pasture. I'll show you guys the ducks and how they're doing. They're pretty big now and feathered out.
And there they go. So realistically, it's a win-win for us. We're gonna have some really nutritious food. Our pastures are gonna be getting greener and lusher, which will be able to have more animals here in the homestead with the grass to support them. So we're looking forward to it, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. We all get to learn together. So thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Don't forget to subscribe.